Pan African Parliament's commitment to the integration of this continent has been commended by the African Union. The AU Commission Chair has, however, raised serious concerns about the failure by the body to ratify the PAP, as it's known as a legislative body, 14 years after it was established. Well, new MPs, including five high profile South Africans, were sworn in with Morocco making their debut appearance after the country's return to the African Union last year. The highlight of this session was the swearing in of the Moroccan delegation after years of self imposed exile from African politics. The country had boycotted the AU for recognizing the Western Sahrawi as a member state. Morocco rejects the territory's independence regarding it as its own. And I will promote adherence to the principles of good governance. EFF leader Julius Malema, chair of the NCOP, Tandi Mudise, Toko Didiza, and Chief Mandla Mandela were also welcomed into the continental fold. Developing relations with African leaders remain top on the agenda. Development of relations with African leaders, systematizing the interactions with national, regional and intercontinental parliaments, as well as the revitalization of our relations with development partners. These relations have helped us to achieve in three years the challenge of visibility and in increase the credibility of an African parliament. The AU Commission Chair raised concern about the delay by the member states to ratify PAP as a legislative organ. If the adoption of these instruments uh, bears witness to the political will that is to give greater impetus uh, to inter-African cooperation, we have also to recognize and accept that uh, the considerable delay in uh, having these instruments uh, into force in fact creates legitimate doubts. The AU expresses aggravation at the failure to officially recognize the African Court of Justice to deal with human rights violations in the continent. Finally, how can you explain that the protocol on the amendments to the statutes of the African Court of Justice and Human Rights, uh, which is called the Malabo Protocol, has not been ratified by any member state for four years after its adoption? Muhammad lamented the AU's continued dependence on international donors due to non-commitments of some of its members to make their Jews. Muntlingeni Dipoku, SABC News, Midrand.